Hey there, have you ever heard of React 19? You have? It came out like a few weeks ago. Well, perfect, let's talk about it. I actually set it up in our base stack and I'm loving the experience. But today's topic is actually gonna be how to use React 19 and the React compiler inside of our React router project. So it's pretty easy to set up and I just wanted to cover all the bases so you can set it up yourself. If you need a reference, you can check the base tag, but all you need is a little bit of Babel magic and you're gonna be good to go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install the Vit plugin and it's called Vit plugin Babel, believe it or not. And what the, this plugin does, it allows you to run Babel transforms on your code. And what we're gonna use today is we're gonna say in the Vite config, we're gonna say Babel, and this Babel import comes from Vite plugin Babel. If you're having trouble running this, make sure that your TS config is set to module resolution bundler, and the module is set to yes next. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't work with node next. And once you have those two things set up, you're gonna say to filter for TSX files, or if you're using JSX, you can do something like uh, J or J or J or T. But I just use TypeScript, so I'm gonna filter with TypeScript. I set the preset to Babel preset TypeScript, and this is just a dependency that you install. So if I go to package.json. And if I scroll up here, you can see that I have it as a dependency. And then what you want to install is Babel plugin React compiler. And it's still in beta at the time of making of this video. So it maybe might be our stable release once you do this. So just keep that in mind. And you just plug it in here. And that's pretty much it. And if you do npm run build, it outputs everything. And as you can see, it passed. And now if I open, for example, the root, you can see that it imported the compiler runtime. And I think this comes from React. And the code itself is pretty minified, so you won't know what's going on. And for example, if I open up all the other files, you can see the fun React stuff, like client and terminals do not use, or warn user they cannot upgrade and all the good React compiler stuff. But as you can see, the React compiler runtime is actually included in your output bundle. And this bundles all the TSX files and runs it before React router. So by the time React router gets it, you're good to go. And it also has the Tailwind files here, but that doesn't matter for us. And if you wanted to add any other sort of Babel transforms, you can do so by first installing the plugin, going to your Vite config and then passing it in as the Babel plugin here. And that's all you have to do to add React 19 support to React or rather React compiler support to your project. And if you want to do React 19, well, guess what? You can just install React 19 and that's it. It all works with React router out of the box. Now you won't have support for React server components, unfortunately, that's not out yet. But considering that Vite 6 is out and React 19 is out, we're gonna have server components soon. So for now, just keep patient and just use React 19 if you want, especially if you're starting a new project, why start with 18 when you can do 19? And React 19 comes with a lot of cool stuff like removing uh, forward ref and stuff like that. So I kindly recommend you use it for your new projects. And I'm really excited. I actually tried it out a little bit, but then I didn't take a deep dive into React router yet or rather React Arrow with React 19. And I'm really excited to see what comes after. I already have some cool ideas I wanna try out, but for now I just wanted to start simple, show you how you can add React Compiler and hopefully help you out to add other Babel plugins because I know that a lot of people love Babel plugins and they have a lot of uses. For example, the other day I was trying to add using and how I did that was with the same approach. So I added the Vite plugin for Babel and then here in the side of the plugins, I just added the Babel plugin. I'm not even sure what it's called, the uh, explicit resource management or something like that. 
and then I could use the special keyword in TypeScript called using and then Babel transformed my files and I could use using to clear stuff after it went out of scope, which is really cool. And I know that some people also use it to transform it in other ways. So that's something you can keep as a tool in your huge belt. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this was a short one and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.